Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, I'm going to share seven tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Mac. Our first tip is for those who have an iPhone and Mac and can take advantage of the newer Universal Clipboard feature. So for example, if you select any text and then copy it, you can then use your Mac to paste the copied text from your iPhone. As soon as you copy and select text on your iPhone, that same text is now copied to your Mac's clipboard, and then you can paste that text into whatever text box you'd like. Definitely a useful feature. This next trick has to do with the menu bar and more specifically the icons in the menu bar. If you're like me, you probably thought those icons were in that specific place and order for a reason, and that's the way they were going to have to stay. But if you hold down command while clicking on an icon, you can actually drag and drop to rearrange each icon in whatever order you'd like. Trick number three is also a really cool feature that I didn't know existed. Say you're browsing Safari and you want to select information from an article or website and paste it into a document. And instead of selecting, copying, opening up another program, pasting it into that document, etc., all you have to do is actually select the text you'd like and then drag and drop it to your desktop. This will automatically create a plain text document with the selected information. A super quick and useful trick that flew under the radar for me. Number four is another way to complete a task faster, this time focusing in on split screen applications. Instead of dragging the app into a full screen desktop and then dragging another app on top via mission control, you can simply press and hold the green full screen icon in the upper left corner of the application window, and you will see a highlighted box on either the left or right side of your screen indicating that this is where you can drop the app. Once you have dropped the first app to your desired location, you can select a remaining app that you'd like to put into split screen, and it will automatically take over the second half of your display. Trick number five is one you probably already know, but if you're new to Mac OS, this trick can save you some time. Before I knew about this trick, if I ever wanted to use an emoji, I would actually shamefully search for that emoji in Google and then copy and paste it. Well, if you press Control, Command, and Spacebar, you can bring up your emojis right there and easily search for whatever emoji you'd like to use in your text. Trick number six is the ability to get picture in picture when using Safari. So for example, if you're watching a YouTube video and you want to use picture in picture mode, all you have to do is right click on the video and then right click again to bring up another menu where you'll find picture in picture. From here, you can pretty much drag the window to any corner of your Mac and resize it to your desired size. Finally, our last trick is one that can really save you some time and money, and that is the ability to sign a PDF with your MacBook's trackpad, or if you have a Magic trackpad with your Mac desktop. To sign a PDF, you'll need to open Preview, select the markup icon, then the signature icon, and from here you can sign your name using your finger and your trackpad. Once your signature is all set, you can then drag it and drop it anywhere in the document and resize the signature too. You can also create multiple signatures if you'd like. Before this, I would import the document into my iPad and then sign it that way, or even worse, I'd just use a traditional printer, but this trick has saved me a ton of time. So that wraps up our seven tips and tricks to get the most out of your Mac. Let us know in the comment section down below which trick you liked or if you have a trick that you want us to maybe feature in a video in the future. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.